got all this doll and no appetite to eat it because I'm so tired because I didn't sleep enough. Why haven't I been doing this forever ago? It's so fast and so buttery and creamy, like it's all stuck together. It's such a good texture. It's like eating butter, but it's just protein and plants and spices. What it is, is like mashed potatoes. There is potato in there and that triggered the analogy, but just the beans themselves are like mashed potatoes. It's so good. If I could eat gluten and feel like myself, I would smash back so many pastries for breakfast all the time. Like all of my European friends. I've been really craving chocolate chip banana muffin. I really want a warm hot muffin for breakfast. That's what we're gonna do today. I'll use gluten-free flour from Bob's Red Mill. I'm so excited because I'm really hungry. Oh, my house is really bright, so I have on sunglasses. <laughs> In Asia, everyone's shorter, so the countertops are lower and I get neck pain when I mash stuff and work too long in the kitchen. Not work, play! Totally eyeballing everything. For environmental reasons, I didn't get mixing bowls, so I just use saucepans or whatever I have. That I only use 74% rigor sport because the others use cocoa from Ghana and Ivory Coast. It's hard for me to even support a company that is involved in that region of the world. But I can't cut out like pistachio Ben and Jerry's, you know? The Ben and Jerry's cocoa also comes from Ivory Coast. <laughs> not coming out. Shit. What happens when your parchment paper doesn't come out of your Tupperware? Typical me having 10,000 things going on at once. The big muffins are still baking and I'm struggling. Jesus Christ. Oh, I know. I just cut it off because this is their life. I've been thinking about doing this recipe for so many months and here we are. Cashews. Pinch of salt. This is my rushed decaf double shot almond cashew coconut milk. That's the state the kitchen's in. I have to eat now because the muffins are hot and I'll lose it. Thinking I'll go with that one. I like it. Is it really 2023 if you don't record your first bite on camera? I need my sunglasses, but all right. Perfect bite, it's gonna have two gobs of chocolate, at least. Oh, I waited so long and worked so hard for this moment, truly. Mm. I have to go. Okay. So, time to try the raspberry cheesecake. It's kind of falling apart. Mm. Fuck, I can't lick it. I have nothing but leftovers for dinner, and it's like 4 p.m., but dinner, and I could not be more excited. Moon doll, Indian style. Vegan raspberry cheesecake. This is all the muffins I'm gonna have. The last half of one I started eating and then a mini muffin. So good. That wasn't enough food. I want my persimmon. I don't eat too much fruit because it's a lot of sugar for me and my health, but I love seasonal fruit. This orange smells so good. Wow, the house is so fragrant right now. I'm wearing my new top. It's mostly cotton that I got yesterday. It's kind of like Korean style. I'm just feeling proud of how far I've come. I don't have much nut butter at home. I don't even really want it. I might not have been able to stop if I made muffins. Like, I'd eat so many. I mean, I did eat like three today, but they're not even unhealthy at all, so. I can't eat before surfing. I had long periods in India where I wasn't eating in the day and stuff, so 
it's easy for me to intermittent fast but everyone's different and i feel like when you hear someone talk about it you go do it but it's not sustainable you have to be really honest with yourself about what's sustainable and you have to do it not for how you look but for how you feel i don't even like measure anything or try i don't time anything what i eat today has to last me until tomorrow all morning set the alarm for 4 a.m and i'm not always like this some days i eat like shit like all fast food when i was hiking in nepal we would eat dinner at like 8 p.m and then breakfast at 6 a.m fuck that very fragrant orange but very tasteless there's no orange flavor it's just like sugar water is on and now it is time for smoothie bowls i'm gonna do a cherry smoothie bowl the lineup for today's toppings just kidding i changed my mind to raspberry raspberry smoothie bowl <laughs> the taste test for gelato texture it looks good Mm, it's not falling. Not very sweet. I get chunks of dates for sweetness. I'm gonna put on Anoa Heart Leaf Toner. I've gone through about 20% after a couple months. It smells very vanilla y. Heart Leaf is sweet potato leaves, which have like a bitter taste. They're like used as spinach in Asia in dishes, and I don't know how they smell. This thing smells amazing and vanilla -y. Naturium plant squalane. Squalane comes from plants, but the squalene is naturally produced by the face. I think I have dry skin, so if I don't want to disrupt my hormones and increase my risk of cancer, 100% uh, oil does wonders. It's also safe for fungal acne and stuff like that. Coconut oil, etc. is not. I don't have fungal acne, I have IBS acne. Like, if I don't eat perfectly, everything just falls apart at once, so. Mm. Salted Caramel Road. I really like her brand and in the beginning it was just three products. Um, but I don't know. Kind of tastes like the plastic packaging. It's already. Yeah. About one third granola. I like salted coconut and salted chocolate. So here's a little hot tip. cheesecake filling that was extra and I mixed it in with chocolate and put it in the fridge and it's like a mousse because of the lemon and lemon zest it's kind of like chocolate orange mousse 